very about journalism. When I was uh, a kid living here in New Haven, I was obsessed with punk rock. That was my whole world. Um, and that's a very like argumentative world. So the idea of like arguing about music made a lot of sense to me. And then <laughs> as I kind of got back immersed into hip hop, um, that sort of inspired me in a different way because it was unlike punk rock, it was so popular and I felt like it wasn't being written about or wasn't being written about well. Um, and so I, I felt like I felt like I felt like I could make the argument that even if you don't care about this music or even if you don't even if you're never gonna listen to any of this stuff, um, you might be happier for knowing about it. And so that that that's always kind of been my approach, partly because of the outlets I work at. I, you know, I was at the Times, now I'm at the New Yorker. So I've never been at a place where I would assume that readers are gonna care about whatever weird thing I'm into. And so the fun of it is to explain, like here's something that you need to know about or you might enjoy knowing about, even if it's not something that you personally like. And I've always liked, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not really a reviewer in a strict sense anymore, although I do some of that now, but I was I like music as a way to encounter unusual, unexpected, offensive perspectives and to kind of think about them and, and grapple with them. And so I, I like that especially music has such a low barrier to entry that any kid can make a track and upload it and it can become a whole thing. So um, I like I like music as a way to as a way to get readers to encounter stuff that maybe they otherwise wouldn't encounter or think was interesting or think